Rainbow family and friends. Today we're going to be looking at some ferns before and after the frost, some purple kale, and a pansy haul. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Now this fern has a bronze look to it from frost. Love the way it looks with the sun shining through it and they only stay like that for a little while. Over here we have the, the Boston ferns and here's a Kimberly Queen that the frost hit. And it was a light frost so as you can see some of the fronds are still green. And it could be a combination of just cold temperatures and look at the detail on this pot with the grapes and I love this pot. It's good for different uh, ideas. Got the happy fall y'all sign and the Kimberly Queen fern. Absolutely beautiful. This mailbox has had some different looks through the different years. Um, a row of moms and impatience. The Kimberly Queen in her full glory and then frost just creeped up on us. Kimberly Queen. Beautiful. They're more upright and they have a slender uh, leaf structure. The Boston ferns are wider leaves and more floppy. Now if you get a Kimberly Queen, you in zone seven, they turn bronze like this and it's some beautiful uh, winter interest. And I usually just have some pansies on standby to fill the pot in once that's completely burnt out from frost. Here's a few of the pansies that we uh, that we put in. And this is the scarlet red. We have the matrix yellow here and the matrix orange. Just a few uh, that we put in this uh, bare spot where something was and didn't make it. So uh, we'll have some color here to the mid spring and just waiting for those to fill in and we'll do the big reveal on the rest of the yard. But for now, we can look at these purple kale, Dusty Miller, and it's an assortment of different textures in these pots without it looking too busy. Beautiful. And that orange, you know, brightens up the purple and you have that frosty texture, the lacy Dusty Miller. We have this white in the center of this kale here, the drippy pot. I like that. The white kale with the, the ruffled leaves there. Beautiful. Now these pots here, this is a good arrangement that'll take you all the way through the winter into the mid-spring. Everything on this video will, um, will do good until the mid-spring. And this is... These uh, purple kale pots are getting popular in this neighborhood. Look at these with the huge purple kale. This purple kale will do good under four feet of snow. This right here is just a foot of snow and I brush it away to show you how pretty these are. When they get cold, the purple is deeper. And we have some other purple kale here with a close up on the, the leaves and how lacy they are. They're beautiful. This purple kale can be used in pots, uh, raised beds, and also in different uh, flower arrangements uh, through the winter. Beautiful. Look at them around this statue. Nice. And we did a pansy hole. We have some right here to look at. We've had requests for, for different colors and I've seen a lot of uh, different colored pansies but this is the first time I've ever used these. Now this blue and white has a uh, washed out like a watercolor looking blue behind this one but in front of this one is more of a purple these blooms are really big and 
looking forward to using these first time i've ever used them i've used uh the majestic giants that look similar to these uh they're all white with just that purple center there but um but with this purple out on the perimeter that's that's going to be amazing then we have these royal purple here the deep purple the big blooms on the yellow and the yellow blotch. We are, a lot of people love this deep purple and I use it in places that are uh, near where you're gonna be walking, uh, focal points and behind brighter colors. So you see how that looks with that yellow? It, it brings it out. The highlight today is this one. <laughs> Beautiful. And as I go in close, you can see the patterns on here look like paint strokes. And they are absolutely fantastic for uh, brightening up spots. Uh, you can use them in the same places where you use white or any other uh, bright colors. And the yellow. The yellow is awesome for um, being able to see from blocks away. This one here has a deep uh, burgundy behind the yellow, you know, very eye-catching. Uh, these are violas. They have a smaller petal and more blooms. Yeah, they have smaller blooms, but more of them. When you get in and pinch off those spent blooms, it gives you so many more. And you get a lot of, a lot of blooms flush out before the season is over. Yeah, going into the night... Oh, this is our night hall, and we're looking at these uh, the fire pansies. Then we have the the yellow, you know, like a flame going into that plum center of the petal. And then we have this apple cider uh, bloom here with a cinnamon look to it, and the, the brighter part kind of looks like an apple. We have the uh, the yellow blotch here. And some others. These are the ones we were looking at earlier. It didn't have a tag on them, but they are going to be nice. They uh, These trail pretty good over the side. I've used those before. Then we have more of the the fire pansies and this yellow blush this combination of colors is really going to be fantastic it was going into the evening when we got these and we had some other stops to make and once we were headed back it started getting dark but i wanted to show you these colors they are fantastic this yellow blotch has been around for quite quite some time. Now, I really like this red, uh, velvety-looking uh, pansy. And these, these combinations, this is a combination of the two. But the uh, background is a lot darker. And we're going to be using these to fill in some spots, some different areas to liven up a space and... I'm looking forward to showing you that and bring you along for that journey. But um, hey, the camera seems to be doing pretty good in the dark. And there's the fire pit back there in the background. Yeah, we uh, did a night haul. Let's take another look at them in the light. And this is your apple cider and fire pansies in the same pot. And it's going to be a nice mixture of colors to brighten up a space. Thanks for watching. Thank you.